Good morning, good evening, and good night, whatever time of the day you are watching. I hope it is a good one. Today we have a very special video for you guys, and if you say that I always say that, then you must be a Lions fan, which means you might be an Eminem fan, which you, if you are, this shit more than the game. Uh, folks, this is going to be an ass whooping, okay? This is going to be an ass whooping. I'm not saying to try to do a reverse check or anything. This is going to be an ass whooping. The Falcons kind of unloosened the wheels of the car. No pun intended last week. The Lions are going to make the wheels of the car come off, brother. This is going to be an ass whooping. I just hope the Lions show some mercy, okay? Lions, when the Saints stream, uncle, please go easy on us. But we got some special guests with us, folks, so please enjoy this reaction video of the New Orleans Saints, which is the Detroit Lions. And by the way, Florida State got screwed. I know that's not about the Saints or whatever, but the college football system is a sham. And all of this college football and all of these sports leagues are a damn sham, if you ask me. It's all business and politics. How can you go undefeated with Florida State and you don't get to go to the playoffs because your QB got hurt? I know that was in the rule, but then if the star quarterback gets hurt now and you're not eligible for the college football playoffs, I know that's completely out of talent, but I'm just so... I mean, it, it's why I'm actually kind of thankful for the no call in 2019. Because this show me at the end of the day, all these sports leagues, whether it's professional or college, it's all business and it's all politics. But hey, we got to get Alabama in, right? I'm an SEC fan. I'm an SEC fan. We got to get the SEC in, right? Never mind Florida State went undefeated. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But damn it. So why do you still watch all these sports shows? Well, it's simple. Because this shit more than the game. Even though I'm about to watch my team get their ass whooped right now. I'm all over the place, I know. All I'm trying to say is, shout out to Eminem, man. Enjoy this reaction video of the Saints versus Detroit Lions. So I got a nice setup this this week. We got the red zone at the bottom. It's been on the Lions and Saints game the whole time because the Lions have been living in the red zone. That's how pathetic this team is right now. They might as well show the Saints Lions in the red zone channel right now because it's just the Lions in the red zone the whole game. And the ass will begin. I'm not mad. That's the ass will begin. It's time to fire everybody. So what is your reaction so far to this ass whooping? I don't know, bro. Oh, you to Oh, man. Here we go. It's, it's time to fire everybody, right? Yes, it is. Did you not say that? As a Rams fan, unbiasedly, right? Yes. Y'all see how bad it is? I brought a Rams fan into my house. That's how down bad we are right now. Dennis Allen will pay for his sins and his thoughts with ass whoopings like this. Very sorry, you don't get food. You better get this. Y'all hear those boos? Dang well, Sean! Well, it's only the first quarter! It's only the first quarter, bro. Go to Casper. Oh, that's what he said. He said, Oh, he was open too. You can't get your feet set up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it just. Look, look, look that's a step right there. Quick first half analysis. Ziggy, please tell me you are not going to 
positivity and rainbows, your bullshit. I like this, twenty four to seven. Yeah, it's kind of hard to defend. Um, it's kind of hard to defend the Saints after this uh, twenty four and seven um, like deficit that we're in right now. But it's still a halftime. I think what they got to do is just retool, limit the mistakes. No more mistakes going into the the second half. And um, like like I said, we're a third in yards uh, per game out of all the teams in the NFL. We just gotta close the deal when we get into the red zone. What was wrong? Man? Is something, am I saying something wrong? Sure. Well, top three in yards. Sure. We just got to score when we get in the red zone. Sure. You got anything to say? All right. The Saints, the Saints team is letting Jared Goff know that. And a couple God, of years ago. I swear if he says it. With the penalty? I swear if he says it. I tell you, no lie. I swear I'm making it more valid each and every time. You know what? Uh, we'll see y'all for the second half. Yeah. This guy <laughs> here. I'm never inviting a Rams fan over again. Third and 12. Where you making money at right here? Where you making money at? Right? Chris Olave, where you at? Touchdown. Chris Olave, where you at? Did, what did I just say? John Saunders leading the way for Kareem. Wow. Right. You, you was right. You were right, Zimmy. What I told y'all. Quiet, He's good. What I told y'all. I said three point. Well, what did I do? Woo! Derek one score game, Derek Carr walking home with a little swag now? Come on. <laughs> See, they ready for him. Nah, I don't think that's my job. Nah, he ain't hit the ground yet. You got it. You got it. Oh. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's fantasy. I'm sorry. It's for fantasy. <laughs> Told y'all, run Taysom. Zach Potter! I'm talking about that. Man, man. Damn. I really got hopes that we're gonna do this, bro. You get blown out. Get blown out. Come on, Detroit. It's a fumble snap. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Just when everything's going right. Yeah. This that is not so honest. That is not the environment we want to see. I want you to watch. And around. Reverse. Here comes Jameson Williams. Go. Go. Hey, that was a fun little. Superman for number nine. Transcomer is a flag down as Carr is. Rough and a pass. First down. Uh oh, Jameson's time again. Nice drive over the wood by Derek Carr. And they're on the first play. It's probably him. <laughs> 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 Jared Goff said, y'all thought that shit was a fluke when I came down here? Man! 
Got this trash ass shit. We got it. That's my brother Lee's his commentary. Look, man, I done went through like a wide range of emotions and what I thought was gonna be rants, uh, you know, how I felt about that game was entertaining. I'll give it that. That was an actually very entertaining game, yet, yet, that was actually probably a worst case scenario game for the Saints, because I really wish, and I say this even when we're good, I'm like, if we're gonna lose like that, I'd rather just lose early so you don't get my heart back in it, okay? But especially when I'm trying to get rid of this goddamn coaching staff. I would have rather just got blown out when we went down 21 points within like eight minutes of the first quarter so we can get somebody to make a fall guy and get make me feel a little better, right? But what did we do? We fought and congratulations. Like, honestly, I'm proud of how this team fights. Like, we got a team of resilient people. But that's the same damn talking point that Mickey Loomis is going to do this week and say how the locker room is not lost. We're still fighting and all that. Yeah, but that was bullshit. Worst case scenario game was entertaining hell yeah. I had a great time with my friends and family. But damn, that was a worst case scenario game. But y'all didn't hear me ran enough. I'm bringing on two people that y'all know from the General Ball Show to hear what they got to say about that. First of all, I'm bringing on everybody knows he's a, a lovable commodity in my community, Ziggy. And Ziggy, I know, dog. Dog, I know, Ziggy. You are not going to be caught. I think the Falcons won. I think they see y'all in the back. They're about to win too. Well, it's still a game, but... Tell me you're not positive after that, dog. Please the tell me. The thing is, Here we go. with all the mistakes, with all the mistakes that we had in that game, it's still a winnable game. Yeah, if we didn't, if he didn't have that, if, if he didn't have that handoff, and it just, it's just like Murphy's law, bro. It's like the the the, the lineman hit the ball out of Derek Carr's hand, and then Derek Carr gets knocked out of the game. It's like we are in all of these games. But like Jono said, the, the resiliency, the team is fighting back. I don't know what was said in that locker room, but you could tell they had that fire that was built in that locker room. So it's like Taysom Hill, like I said before, make him an integral part of the offense. Jimmy Graham scored a touchdown. Where was he at for the rest of the game? He didn't get any more touches or any – was he – it put back in the game after he scored the touchdown. So it's like some some of the play calling uh, was a little questionable. But also, last thing, and I'm going to let uh, John uh, take over again. There was a lot of holding calls. There was a lot of things that were just like, like, like on that last play when um, Jared Goff um, threw that uh, ceiling um, slant up the middle. 73 was holding the shit out of your boy that was um, trying to go after Jared Goff. Like when you're trying to, when you're going, when your body's going left, and somebody's pulling you to the right. That's holding, right? I think that's a textbook holding. But then they call it. Look, man, we still got the Falcons. We could come back and win that. The Falcons, I think John O'Shea is uh, up against the Jets right now. So, look, we're only one game behind the lead in this division. About to be two. Go ahead. About two? About to be two. If they don't okay, so, look. We got to beat the Falcons. We got to beat the Carolina um, Panthers again. And then we still got the uh, Buccaneers. So, look, hey, we are still in this thing. I think, like, do, do y'all want to win? I think that's what we want to do, right? We want to win. We want to get to the playoffs. So, it is it is definitely in our own cars to win. The, the the field is wide open for us to take it. So, who that? It's still who that? We'll it's see, still who that? We'll see him on the General Bond show this Tuesday. Hopefully, we see you guys as well. But after that, and I love Ziggy for, to, to the death of me, but... I just don't want to hear that positivity, rainbows, and sunshines bullshit right now. And I know what y'all about to say. Why in the hell would I invite a Rams fan to my house to watch the game? Because you know what? Sometimes you need that, that sudden dose of reality. So, Sean, come on, man. And, and I know y'all are sacrilegious. This is what Dennis Allen has done for me. I'm man, a Rams fan <laughs> in my house. But I know that he's going to keep it real. So what you got to say about what the hell just happened with the Saints? Man, look, bro. Let's just keep it plain and simple. Clean house next season. No excuses. No Dennis Allen, no Mickey Loomis. Y'all need to get rid of, I, if y'all could, get rid of Gal Benson. Y'all just need everything restructured, bro. Look, bro. I, man, Jameis, and, and I was an advocate for Jameis Winston, and he's making my points invalid now. That boy missed on what? Not one, not two, not three. Four. Four. Yes, four, John. He had four passes that he could have completed to Chris Olave to keep the drive going. Y'all could have took the lead. Defense was going to be elite to stop Jared Goff, but unfortunately you have coaches that don't know what the fuck they're doing, bro. Now the Rams are about to win. No, no, no. Rams are about to beat the Cleveland Browns. Oh, man, it's setting up perfect for the Rams and the Saints. I am loving this, bro. But, man, look, Saints got to get rid of – I don't know what to tell y'all, bro. Y'all better get y'all quarterback in this damn draft. I'm out, bro. Back to you, General. 
So I have to hear from them too. I want to hear from you guys. So again, y'all know the drill. Leave a voicemail at 504-484-9170 and let it all out, y'all. Let it all out. Because, honestly, hey, hey I'll get the team this. I thought I was done after last week against the Falcons. And I still am, but they do enough to give us a lot to talk about in this week. Yet again. That's not, that's, that should be the jet to get Dennis Adam out of my town. Hey, the jets might come back, bro. We, <laughs> we got, folks, a lot to talk about. So leave a voicemail at 504-484-9170. Y'all know how I feel about this team, man. <laughs> I appreciate that they fight, though. I mean, I do. I mean, I, I want them to get the ass with just to get. But at this point, I know we're keeping Dennis and Pete and the crew. And you know what? Shout out to Derek Carr. I know that sounds crazy, right? But he's a tough kid. But he also needs to rest. Like, Derek Carr, you done got knocked out three games so far this season. Like, think about your long-term health. I'm saying that sincerely. Like, you're a tough dude. I'll give you that. Over everything I will say, you're a tough SOB. But you got to think about your health, man. So, let's get all the board, in my opinion, the James Costa to close out this crazy-ass season. And I don't know where we go from here, honestly. I mean, even if we do... Clean house, like with our salary cap, with our draft position, with all of these contracts that we are tied to. I don't know, but I do know, again, I'd rather deal with the devil I don't know and have a little bit of hope than deal with the devil I know and have no hope. But I do know after this, Mickey Hoop's going to come on his radio show Tuesday and say, well, look how we fought, guys. Yeah. Look how we fought. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't be afraid, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And Detroit, man, if y'all come from the algorithm, show some love, man. We, we, we rise with you, Detroit. We're cheering for you guys the rest of the way because we want you guys to experience what we did in 2009. Plus, you guys gave us Eminem, the greatest rapper of all time. Right, Sean? Right, Sean? Huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> the greatest rapper of all time, Eminem Detroit gave us that. So I hope y'all have a successful rest of the year. Um, at least, if anything, man, not got the Cowboys in the playoffs for us, all right? But if y'all come to the algorithm, it's all love. Y'all didn't impress me too much. Y'all got some stuff y'all got to clean up. I'm glad that y'all finally have a successful season. <laughs> and again, 504-484-9170. Always and forever. Remember, it's still... This shit more than the game. Right. See you on the job on Show Tuesday. And never forget, $28.03, the price of the This Shit More Than The Game merch, on sale now.